Competizione model year 2019. Let's see what we have in the box. I got this delivered yesterday from Race Chip in Germany. And I have some previous experience with a competitor to Race Chip, another brand. A tuning box I had on my AMG CLA 45 with uh, quite good results. So uh, Let's see how race ship will work on my bath. Hopefully, it's good. I purchased this on uh, Black Friday sale, so it was a uh, 100 euro discount. So uh, very good deal. Put this one aside. We have the inner box. Um, looks good. And the lid uh, has magnetic locks here. Uh, so it sort of gives it a pre more premium feel. And inside we have the ship box. It's very light, uh, plastic or some composite material, it's very light. Uh, my previous tuning box from the other brand was a little bit more heavy, it felt a little bit more sturdy than this, but yeah. You have uh, buttons for the fine adjustment, uh, it's also Bluetooth. The connectivity here so I can uh, connect it to my phone and change the settings from uh, the different settings in the box uh, from race mode to uh, echo mode and so on and I can also do some fine tuning on it and uh, the fine tuning is also possible to do on these buttons here as I understand and here we have uh, the connection harness. Okay, important information. Okay, so this um, these are instructions how to um, connect the plugs in the correct way and it's good if you don't know what you're doing I guess it's um, very easy to uh, do it in the wrong way try to connect the, the plugs in the fault away okay Mm -hmm. So this one connects to the box in this way and just so very easy. Ok, 
Okay, and this is really interesting. I see now that this is only a two channel box. Uh, it's not a multi channel box. My previous tuning box was a three channel box. So most likely these two set of plugs are for one for the map sensor and one for the boost sensor. This is the A side. Here you have a um, three pin connector, male and female. And the B connector is a four pin connector. I think this is for the map sensor. And I think this three pin connector is for the boost sensor. And uh, I'm really curious of the results compared to the, the other one, the other tuning box I had. Would you really have more in the box? And we have the plug. If you if you would like to uh, drive the car without the tuning box installed, you can just um, install this plug instead of the box, and it basically takes the car back to stock. What do we have here? Large box for a lot of small things. We have a bunch of zip ties in different sizes. Okay, we have these um, sort of brackets for the zip ties. And as I understand it, you uh, just connect them to the bottom here of the tuning box. Then you have uh, holes here that where you can put the zip ties in. Attach it to the car. And we have a sticker, a red chip sticker. We have a juicer manual. Okay. Overview of the race ship, the functionality, and okay, the installation. Uh, it seems like it's um, a general description from another car. It's uh, it's pictures of a TSI. It's a Volkswagen engine, and not an Abarth engine. I had an email from RaceShip with a link to specific pictures on an Abarth engine and where I can locate the sensors. Uh, so um, with this installation guide, together with the pictures from RaceShip, uh, it won't be any problems at all. Actually, I, I already knew where the sensors are, so in my case, it won't be any problems to mount it. I can do it without the instructions. Uh, I have some previous experience from tuning boxes and tuning cars in general, so there's no problems. Okay. But this is really good. Uh, this is something that I missed on the previous box I had from another brand. An instruction of uh, how to detach the connectors uh, but here we have some really good instructions and a different set of uh, connectors and I guess these uh, instructions will cover the most connectors out there on the market uh, or at least you will find a connector that is constructed on a, in a similar way and uh, there are a lot of ways with different locking clips and how you should unlock them and so on. Uh, it's 
it's very easy to to break these kind of connectors and especially if you have a car that is a couple of years old and and the plastic has become a bit brittle and you are there with a with a um, with a screwdriver and uh, bending uh, and everything and then it's easy for them to break so this is very good good work to race sensors. The map sensor is found right where I expected to find it and it's right here just as described in the instructions. Uh, nothing odd about that. The way to de-attach this connector is to loosen this yellow clip here and then you can press the tab here, the locking tab and just wiggle it a little bit and then it's loose. And this one is a four pin connector for the map sensor. I'll just put it here for the moment. This is something I found really interesting uh, regarding the model year 2019 and onwards. It looks like a bot has been doing some changes on the, the location or the position of the boost sensor. Because uh, every instruction I have seen online uh, from different brands, they refer to the boost sensor uh, as being located beneath the battery or the ECU here. So just uh, down deep down here under. So in some cases you are recommended to remove the whole battery tray to uh, get access to the boost sensor. And some other brands uh, recommend that you just remove the ECU. I started to remove the battery and uh, the ECU and then I stumbled uh, upon this sensor here and uh, which I think suspiciously it looks like a boost sensor. So first I thought that uh, this can't be correct, it must be a similar sensor. But I started to, to look under the battery tray here. I couldn't see or find the boost sensor. So. Um, I think that a broth has moved the sensor up here, which means that it's much more accessible. So if you would like to mount a chip box on a model year 2019 and onwards, it's much easier now since you don't have to remove the battery or the ECU. You can actually access this sensor just by removing the air box. And for you guys who um, choose a brand of chip box with uh, a three channel box, uh, they uh, usually connect to the, the camshaft sensor to keep track of the RPM of the engine. And in that case, it's this sensor here. So you have the map sensor, you have the RPM or camshaft sensor, for multi-channel boxes, three-channel boxes, and you have the boost sensor here. It has been moved right up here. So very easily accessible.
installation of the wiring harness is done. The final step is to install the shift box itself. My plan is to um, mount it right here uh, on the front side of the fuse box. So I have some rubbing alcohol here and I'm cleaning off the surface so the double sided adhe adhesive tape will uh, stick really good. I'm back with the chip box. Uh, I have now prepared it with some uh, double sided adhesive tape, uh, some 3M VHB, the best tape on the market. I'm now disconnecting the plug. Here's the plug. Let's mount the chip box. So let's remove the protection film on the double sided tape here. Now, it's just a matter of sticking it here in a good spot. So, the wiring harness is perfect down there. Nothing is uh, pinched or squeezed. It's running freely all the way here. Put some pressure here on the chip box to make it stick. This tape is quite strong, so it won't go anywhere. It's, it's all stuck there. Okay, I turn on the ignition and the box light it up uh, just like it's supposed to do. So uh, everything seems all right up till this point. And we started up right away. Everything seems to go so far. Chip off, it's working here. So let's hook up the Bluetooth connectivity here. See if we can get that working. Everything is back in its place. And I think it became a really clean install. The wiring harness is um, all chucked away. You can't see anything of it. The map sensor uh, is all hidden behind the airbox here. And, um, and the connection harness runs behind the airbox and comes out right here uh, it's really bad lighting so sorry you can't see um, but it goes behind the battery and comes out where I had put the ship box mounted on the fuse box here so you can't uh, you almost can't see anything of the wiring harness uh, the only thing you see here is the box itself so uh, I'm really happy with the result and I uh, think the, the install uh, was really clean and uh, good.